haircut is like so mainstream. Why don't you try making your hair a little bit more, you know, emo? I mean, not emo, because emo doesn't exist. Something more individual, like all the other emos. First, you're going to have to grow it down, man. Grow it real long. If you're starting from it being short, it's going to be a real pain. But just use the experience to, like, fuel some poetry or something. Once it's long enough, you need to wash it with a good shampoo and conditioner. Otherwise, it's just going to get easily damaged once you start styling it regularly and stuff. If you've got curly hair, the best thing to do is to just, like, use hair straighteners because getting it done chemically at a salon is just so expensive. You're going to need to set those straighteners to a high temperature, but not, not too high. You just get noticeable amounts of frizzy, ugly, burnt-out hair. And that's just, like, lame. Then you need to sweep your fringe over to one side. So it's covering one of your eyes and style your side bangs to go past your chin to form like a frame for your face. This will make you look like, you know, just slender and cool and yeah. Now you need to dye it all black, man. Otherwise, any colors you put in just won't stand out as much. Now think of your fringe like a canvas for you to like paint your emotions on or something. You could use like bright, contrasting streaks of color to try and convey the aggression and, and despair you see in the world. Now if you want, you could get some good styling gel and spike the back of your hair up. The media have labeled this the gunshot wound, but, you know, it looks like this from the side, and it's, it's pretty sweet, huh? And there you are. Now you look like a true emo boy. I mean, scene kid. Uh, or 